Hello, I'm John McCard, Rector of St. James's Episcopal Church. Not surprisingly, the Bible is full of stories and passages about resilience. From the story of Job to the Psalms to many of Paul's letters and even St. James's own patron saint, who says very early in his writings, consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you are involved in various trials, because you know the testing of your faith produces endurance. Certainly this past year has tested our endurance at St. James's in so many ways, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. But I am delighted to report that as a church, we have been more resilient, we have remained hopeful, and better yet, we have been creative in the face of adversity, which from my point of view is the ultimate embodiment of Christian hope. The hope our lives gave birth to this past year was not one that ignored our grief or our pain or the sense of loss we all felt as we watch much of what our old uncertainty and our rituals pass away. This new hope was forged out of an exile in time in the wilderness when we found God calling us as a church to rediscover new ways to proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. From joint ministry projects of mask making with our neighboring synagogue keeping our preschool open to serve working families in low-income neighborhoods, we learned anew how God's Spirit works through us to bring hope to the lives of our people and to those we are called to serve outside the walls of this church. To be honest with you, the pandemic gave birth to new ministries and inspired much creativity as we invited church members to experience smaller gatherings in our house churches, we invited high school students to a socially distant, safe virtual school on our own campus. And we recommitted as a church to doing the hard work of racial justice and reconciliation. In my Christmas service this year, I reminded our people that the story of Jesus' birth is the story of God being among us, the least likely people in the least likely places and times. This is the way we believe that incarnational theology brings hope to our lives as Christians. And it was especially true this past year, as we learned that God was indeed with us in the least likely places and in the least likely of these difficult times. And in remaining faithful to our task of being incarnational beings, ones that bore the word of God within ourselves, we found the courage necessary to persevere even when the messiness of our lives made us feel like we were the least likely people. Yes, there was much we may have lost, but what we didn't lose in the past year was the knowledge that God was more interested in what we would do in the future than in our past. And even with our own brokenness, God is always able, God is always able, as God did at Christmas, to give birth and hope to the dreams we have for healing this broken world. At St. James's Episcopal Church here in Richmond, we have not let fear and anxiety be the final say in our lives at this time in our history. We have remembered the words of the risen Lord when he said to his disciples on a new morning filled with hope and expectation, be not afraid. And from a least likely birth to an empty tomb, we have come to know that our strength and resilience as a church is found not in our own efforts or the ministry we have been privileged to carry forth. No, it has been and will remain that is God's power, God's power working within each one of us always and in every way can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. May God the Father of our Savior Jesus Christ continue to give us all grace, love, and hope as we continue this journey together. 
Amen.